that swelled up from my abdomen all the way up through my sternum and, and into my head, and that's when I fell off the toilet and I hit the floor, and that's when my heart stopped and I died. I saw this really bright white light, and I was going through a tunnel. And then came the zap. September day, I was craving uh, some enchiladas, some Mexican food, so I stopped at the local grocery store and I picked one up and, and I brought it home. After I got it out of the microwave, I went to the living room and sat down to watch a little bit of TV and then I ate the dinner and it wasn't long before I finished the last bite that, that the nausea started with, with abdominal pain. It got worse and worse, so I tried to go lay down for a little while. The pain just got worse and worse and worse, so I knew I needed to get to the bathroom any way I could. to drag and crawl myself to the bathroom and get up on the commode and uh, the pain was just so intense now that no matter how hard that I strained I, I, I couldn't I, I couldn't do anything the pain was worse and worse I could feel it almost crushing my ribs and, and my stomach felt like Freddy Krueger's knives had been injected into my stomach and was twisting. And the next thing I knew, I, I fell completely off the commode and I hit the ground and I felt my heart completely stop and that's when I died. <laughs> I saw this really bright white light, uh, but I was going down a tunnel like normal, uh, but I could smell Sunoco racing fuel and, and Goodyear tire rubber. When I emerged from the white light, I was at Talladega Super Speedway. I felt a hand grab me by the arm and lead me to the infield to what I knew was my race car, and I looked up to my left and it was Dale Earnhardt Sr. guiding me. When I got to the infield, I noticed I had a full crew. St. Peter was my crew chief. Ronnie Van Zandt from Leonard Skinner was my right front tire changer. Carol Shelby was my jack man. And uh, running diagnostics was Hillel Slovak from the Red Hot Chili Peppers that died in the early 1980s from a heroin overdose. I'd never driven a race car before, so I needed guidance. I went to St. Peter, my crew chief, and, and he said, this is the Heaven 500, but son, you're not meant to race today. And he placed his hand on my shoulder and everything turned white again and I left the speedway. Alan Kulwicki was there, J.D. McDuffie was there, um, Davey Allison was there. When I opened my eyes again, I was floating above my body and I saw myself in the bathroom floor on the linoleum in a fetal position, my forehead sweating in a pool of, uh, of perspiration. 
on the floor of the bathroom. Then as, as fast as it happened, there was a, an electrical zap that went from my left ear to my right ear, and I was back in my body. I, I opened my eyes. I could see the sink, and it was kind of blurry, but then my eyesight returned to normal, and the pain was still there, but I had enough strength to get back up on the commode. took a deep breath with all the muster I had inside of me and I strained one last time and I got rid of, of something that made the pain go away and I realized I was going to be okay. changed a lot since then and I'll never get a cheap Mexican dinner from a local grocery store as long as I live. <sighs> I survived because my insides I found could handle uh, cheap Mexican food a lot more than I ever thought it possibly could and the experience only makes me look forward to the day that it is my time so that I can run my Chevrolet in that Evans 500 at Talladega.